Nicki Minaj recently revealed that J. Cole was actually the first person to give her feedback on the track FTCU. She was talking to Ebro on Apple Music and she revealed that she was working with Drake on his album and was in the studio with Drake and J. Cole and FTCU was actually supposed to be maybe a track for Drake's album. As they soon realized, the song didn't really work for Drake's album and she decided to keep it for herself, but she wasn't really sure if she had a hit record on her hands. That's of course until J. Cole heard it and he heard the part specifically high heels on my tippies and, and that flow. And when he heard that, he was completely shook. Like he never heard anything like that before. The flow was unique. And as we all know, that's the part that's gone viral on TikTok and has propelled the song into hit song status. Nicki Minaj is no stranger to creating new flow. She does this all the time, but even an artist like her, she wasn't sure. And I just find it amazing that J. Cole, out of all people in the studio with Drake, was the first person to say, hey, that's dope and that needs to be on the album. And uh, Drake's feedback was he thought it was like too far up on the album. So maybe it was originally like the first or second track and she pushed it back to the third track. I'm not sure where she originally had it, but I just find it amazing that that's the same part that people are reacting to now in the same exact way that J. Cole reacted to it initially. And of course, this has spawned, you know, numerous viral trends. There's people throwing oven mitts on their feet. <laughs> Nicki Minaj posted a new clip uh, of her getting into the back of the back, you know, all fancy and stuff off the private jet. Maybe that'll be like a new trend in itself. People just getting into the back of the car. You know, Nicki Minaj is a trendsetter like that. But anyway, the track is super viral. Over 40 million streams on Spotify. It's a hit record. And these days, I mean, you can define a hit record by so many things, but the fact that it's inspired all these trends. It's part of the culture. It's definitely a standout track on the album. Uh, it was charting on the Hot 100. Like, you know, it's definitely a hit that one of those records. And it's definitely one of those flows, I think, that people are going to remember for a long time. You know, next time you have a track and you're unsure, just give it to J. Cole. Get some feedback from, you know, one of the greatest rappers ever and see what he thinks of it. It's, it's that easy. You know, just talk to J. Cole, see what he thinks. No problem. But anyway, I, I just find it really funny that everyone has had the same reaction to J. Cole. And, you know, if J. Cole doesn't hear it and he doesn't give her that feedback, who knows? Maybe we don't get that kind of track on Pink Friday, too. Maybe it never sees the light of day and we never see these viral trends. So special moment. Um, her interview, she was doing this on Apple Music, like I said, so you can go check that out. But um, yeah, Pink Friday, too, obviously out now, out everywhere. It's number one record. You know, Nicki Minaj you know the hit maker she'd be on tour so i'm sure you know when she plays this song on tour it'll people will go crazy too anyway i'll be back soon Drippy friday too later